Mystical Love and Light here. This is a how-to video. Um, you ever have your loved one, your husband, your spouse, your partner, whatever you want to call the person, whether it be a male doing this uh, working or a female doing this working, where um, your friends don't come first. Your partner thinks they come first, but they don't. You come first. This is a really fast thing to do. You will need a um, candle the color of your partner's star sign. Now, I'm going to use my husband for example. I don't have this problem. He's at work. When he's home, he's with me 24 Seven. If we're going to do anything, we do it together. Which a lot of times is going out and foraging and looking for stuff, things like that. So I don't have a problem. I'm going to use my, hubs, my husband as an example. I'm not doing the working for anybody. I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay. I just have a working candle here. And you will need a picture. I wrote picture of partner. I don't need his picture because I'm just using him for an example. You will need um, a candle for the color of your partner's star sign. Uh, my husband's um, for Leo is red, uh, gold, and yellow. Now, you can use all three. If it's three, you can use one or you can use two, as long as one of the colors are incorporated into your working, okay? The next thing that you will need is a serving, a sewing pen, because you are going to, I don't know if you can even see that on camera, you are going to need to <clears throat> put his name on the candle, which I will go ahead and do now. And I'm just going to make squigglies since I'm not actually doing this for anybody. If it's a tea light candle, you just do it right on top. Same way with here. You just write the person's name on the candle. <clears throat> and again here. Now, <clears throat> Leo's, his symbolizes, uh, Leo symbolizes the sun <clears throat> by fire. And the colors are these three colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and use all three of these colors. Okay. <clears throat> so, like I say, you need the photograph and you need um, his shoes. Get a pair of shoes that he's not wearing anymore. Uh, that he, maybe it's winter and you want to use his summer shoes. Whether it's chocolates, flip-flops, sandals, tennis shoes, boots, whatever. If he's not going to be using them for a while, that's what you want to use. Because you don't want him to see the picture later down on the shoe and go, uh, honey, what is this? Of course, with my husband, he wouldn't, he wouldn't question it because he knows I would just be doing some workings. Okay. So... You're going to write your uh, partner's name on the candles, which I have done with the pen. And you're going to light the candles while you're thinking of your partner coming home to you and not out with his friends. So you're going to say, as you were lighting the candles, you were going to say, home is where I am. Home is where you should be. Home is, and as you're doing it, you're visualizing it. You're not just saying the words. Put your heart into it. Put your mind into it. Put your energy into it. Your intentions. Everything you have in you. Visualize it happening as you are lighting these candles. Okay? Home is where I am. And home is where you should be. Home is where I am. And home is where you should be. Home is where I am. And home is where you should be. Home is where I am, and home is where you should be. Home is where I am, 
and home is where you should be. Home is where I am, and home is where you should be. Home is where I am, and home is where you should be. You say it as many times as you need to as you are spending time with your candles and visualizing and putting your energy and your intentions into your working. Home is where I am, and home is where you should be. And as you are doing this, you take the picture of your partner and you place it in your partner's shoes. And be careful where you place your working candle. I just put my arm right over it. Just like that. And as you do that, and you put it inside your partner's shoes, and home your partner will come to spend more time with you. So as you put it in, you're picturing him. He's coming home. He's going to spend more time with you. That's what's setting it off right there. You want to keep the shoes in front of the um, candle until it burns down. And then keep the photo inside the shoes for, uh, for one full week. That's why I say you shoes that he's not going to be needing right now. So you're going to keep that picture in there for one for one full week. You can do this working again every other week for a month. And after that time, if he starts the old habit again, you repeat this. Remember, you are saying home is where I am and home is where you should be. Home is where I am. And home is where you should be. Home is where I am. And home is where you should be. You will come home. You will realize how happy you are at home to spend time with your loved one, your spouse, your husband, your wife, with whoever's the opposite of doing this. Home is where I am and home is where you should be. You spend time with it. You stay with the candles. Don't ever leave candles unattended. I'm using the small candles. You can use any candles you want. Any candles. Whether it's a chime candle, a taper candle, standalone candle, uh, seven day candle just depends on how fast you want this to be this is a how-to video i am showing you so i am using the smaller candles i use different size candles different candles so you can see you have different choices you don't have to just do what i'm doing here you make it your own home is where i am and home is where you should be And thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.